Hey, good Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning of Holy Week. Can you believe it? Yeah, that's supposed to be a nice day today. So if you're able to get out, get out and enjoy some of that heat because it's supposed to get cold and wet. Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday. So today I want to continue talking about Holy Week. Okay, Sunday we had the triumphal entry. Monday, Monday I continued with that Hosanna and prayer and, you know, the reaction of the crowd as Jesus made his way into Jerusalem. I'm still talking about that on Monday, yesterday morning. But when on, on traditionally on Monday, we remember that Jesus chased out the money changers, overturned the tables of the money changers, made the whip and everything. And, and then it's Tuesday. So what happens on Tuesday? Tuesday of Holy Week. Jesus and his disciples, they leave the temple and they head east towards the Mount of Olives. And you can find this in Matthew chapter 24. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to read a portion of it because I think it's important to understand that we are just like the disciples. But listen to this, Matthew 24 verse 1. Jesus left the temple and was walking away when his disciples came up to him to call his attention to the buildings. Do you see all these things, he asked. Truly, I tell you, not one stone here will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down. And as Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately. Tell us, they asked, when will this happen? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? So they ask a lot of questions. And just like us, because they're curious. I mean, listen to what happened up to this point. I mean, Sunday when Jesus made his way from Bethany and Bethphage all the way down the hill to Jerusalem, that is a steep walk. Some of you watching this, you walk that Palm Sunday trail, that walk, yeah, from the top of the hill down toward the bottom. We walk that. And, and you know, the disciples are taking all this in. They're hearing Hosanna. They understand that this is a prayer. And they understand that Jesus is fulfilling everything that the Old Testament prophets wrote about. And so the anticipation of who Jesus is for these disciples is just building and building. And then Monday when Jesus goes into the temple and he makes that whip and he turns over the tables of the money changers, oh my goodness, this just feeds the passion that these disciples have because they know at any moment Jesus is going to reveal himself not only to them, but because they already recognize him, but he's going to reveal himself to the religious leaders in Jerusalem, put them in their place and show the Romans that God is still the Lord of this place. But it's Tuesday. Jesus leaves the temple. Disciples are a little bit confused. Matter of fact, it's thought that on Tuesday, Judas takes off and he heads to uh, the Sanhedrin, the, the rabbinical court of ancient Israel. He goes to them to make a deal to hand Jesus over to them. And again, a lot of people make Judas out to be the bad guy. But Judas was used by God to do this. I mean, think about that. And, and I really think that Judas... Out of all the disciples, he really knew who Jesus was, the Messiah. And, and I think that by going to the Sanhedrin, Judas is, is challenging Jesus to finally show the world who he really is because Judas really believes and knows from all the evidence that he witnessed. But as Jesus is sitting on the Mount of Olives overlooking Jerusalem. The disciples must be thinking to themselves, okay, what's what's going on? And and when they called the attention of Jesus to the buildings of the of the temple and Jesus said, "Do you see all these things? I'm telling you, not one stone will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down." And the disciples again are confused. They come to him, they're like, "Hey, 
Tell us, when will this happen? What will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? And, you know, the more I read this scripture, the more I think we are just like these disciples. We want, we, I mean, it's about us. We make it all about us. I mean, we do. And, and the disciples are just wanting Jesus to reveal himself. They want Jesus to, to establish his throne on earth but he doesn't do it the way they want him to do it. And on that Tuesday, Judas sneaks off to the Sanhedrin because he's going to make Jesus play his cards. But the disciples that remain on the Mount of Olives are wondering, when will all these things take place? And Jesus, throughout Matthew 24, he tells them things to look out for. He never tells them a date. He never tells them when. But what he tells them is is to remain watchful and, and to be hopeful and to stand firm on the faith that's been handed down to you. And so on this day, this Tuesday of Holy Week, as we continue the journey, think about what is it that you would want to ask Jesus. I know people want to know when will this pandemic finally end? I don't know. But we're getting closer. People want to know when will there be peace on this earth? I don't know. But all I know is that in the kingdom of God, we are all brothers and sisters. John saw in the book of Revelation that there was this great multitude from every nation, every tribe, every language, and every people. Great multitude that no one can count. And what brought all of the people together? Jesus. Yeshua. And I hope and pray that wherever you are, you know Jesus personally, in your heart, in your life. And I hope and pray that you share your faith, not only in person, but on social media. It's Holy Week. Spend time in God's Word. Spend time in prayer. And let's pray for one another. Let's pray for our world. And let's pray for the kingdom of God here on earth. This is Pastor Bill from St. Luke's United Methodist Church, Harrisville, West Virginia, Ritchie County, West Virginia. Wherever you are, I hope you're happy, I hope you're healthy, and I hope you're safe. Have a great day, everyone, and God bless.